Joining us now with more reaction to Boularis' comments is Ron Kendell. He is a retired sergeant with the Canadian Armed Forces and he joins us via Skype from Angus, Ontario. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. I want to get your thoughts. As a retired member of the Armed Forces, what is your reaction to these comments about Vimy Ridge being made by an NDP MP, Alexandre Boularis? Well, I look at it this way. Um, he's practicing what the sacrifices were made uh, by the soldiers uh, on, uh, from Vimy Ridge all the way to World War II. We fought to defend the right for freedom of speech. I'm standing from the point that this man is actually spitting on the history of Canada. It was Vimy Ridge that turned Canada into a nation and got respected as a nation instead of a British colony. So this man is, is practicing his free speech but he is spitting on the history of Canada, which I find very insulting. And now that I found out from what Daniel just said, that he's standing by those comments, that tells me this man has it ingrained in his soul. He does not believe in Canada. So, so therefore, of course he will never issue an apology. Neither will Minister Mulcair uh, approach him to make an apology, because he knows his stance as well. So in my opinion, this man has revoked his privilege to be a member of Parliament of Canada as he does not see how this country was created and why this country was created. So therefore, he should, he should not apologize. Minister, uh, Mr. Mulcair should fire him from his uh, party, and this man should be asked, or if possible, removed from Parliament. It is an insult to Canadians as a whole. And does it make a difference to you at all uh, that this was written five, six years ago? Of course, as you mentioned, we are hearing from this NDP MP that he still stands by the comments. The uh, post, though, was from five years. Does that make a difference? As I said, it's ingrained in his soul. He truly believes in what he states. And that, in my opinion, does not state what a Canadian is or how a, ca how a Canadian would look at their own country. So five years ago, today five years in the future. He is going to hold the same opinion, yet he is acting like a bourgeoisie himself by having a very well-paid job as a member of parliament. What I would like to know, and I challenge the people in his writing, voice your opinions, call your media, tell them how you feel about your member of parliament and what he thinks of your country. Would an apology in any way or a retraction from the NDP leader suffice for you? Or in your opinion, does this warrant Boularis to step down or, as you mentioned, be fired from his job? Mr. Mulcair only has one option here. He's obviously not going to approach Mr. Boularis to make an, a, a retraction. Therefore, Mr. Mulcair has only one choice. Remove him from the NDP. And Mr. Boularis only has one choice as well listen to his writing and his constituency. If they agree with what he said, then he can stay as a member of parliament. If they don't, he should step down. This is degrading as a Canadian to listen to this man speak the way he is and what he feels about my country. And just finally, uh, give me a sense of what you're hearing from other veterans today. You, of course, uh, helped publish a magazine, an online publication for veterans. What has been the reaction? Has it been strong, fierce from other veterans in terms of their reaction to these comments? They're upset, and rightly so they will be upset. And I imagine if nine out of ten veterans will say the same thing. They're very, very upset. And... They can't believe that their sacrifices of quality of life or, or life itself is being, is being shoved aside by this man. And I wonder, and maybe you can do this, or, or Daniel, ask him what he thinks of Afghanistan veterans and what they've done for the last 10 years. Because it, because it, only show, it will only show his contempt for this country and, and the greatness that the, our soldiers and uh, military personnel uh, do across, around the world and what we're respected for around the world. Absolutely, and I want to thank you, Mr. Kendall, for joining us today and offering your thoughts and uh, your reaction to this. Well, I'd like to thank you uh, for allowing me to come on. And like I said, there's only one thing that Mr. Mulcair can do. Remove this man from the NDP, or you diminish what the NDP stands for. All right, certainly a story we will continue to follow. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much again.
You're quite welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That is retired sergeant from the Canadian Armed Forces, Ron Kendall, joining us live from Angus, Ontario. We also want your opinion on this story in our daily web poll. We're asking whether you think NDP leader Thomas Mulcair and Alexandra Boulary should retract these comments. You can log on to sunnewsnetwork.ca to cast your vote.